What's going on guys? This is a uh, Champion Road and I'm just going to try and give you guys a little bit of advice how to uh, get past this. Now, first of all you can see I'm playing as Peach. I play as Peach for this level because she's a little bit floaty. Um, if I wasn't playing as Peach I'd probably play as Rosalina because she has a little bit of a double jump you can do if you uh, jump and then press run she'll do a second spin but I think uh, Peach makes this a little bit easier. I'll um, go through this with you as in depth as I can. So here we are at the beginning. Now first thing, these little blue characters up here, I'm not sure what they're called, but uh, you can only kill them if you do a ground pound, unless if you're playing as Rosalina then you can spin attack and kill them. None of the characters in this stage you have to kill. Well, these five rows are relatively easy. Once again, you don't have to kill them, you can just run past them all. It starts getting a little bit tricky up here now. These blocks, because of the way they're spaced, you can just run across them if you hold down the run button. And that's what I do, I just run. Now here, you don't want to keep running forward. Don't go for the blocks up here, go for the lower blocks. And I usually jump on the first guy's head and then just tap jump once to get over those other two guys. Don't hold down jump. Now this bit here, what I'm going to do is I run across this blue one, I'll jump and I'll land on the blue one in the corner and I'll jump, I'll land on the red one once and then I'll jump and I'm going to hold down float for a little bit release it so I land on the second blue one and then jump again so I'm running, I jump, land on the blue one again, jump, land on the red one, jump, land on the blue one if you do that you can get across this next bit here, these steps, these always used to kill me so they're flashing between blue and red I start on the right hand tile so I can run, changes color, changes color. Now this bit here is a bit confusing. I jump to the second one. And then here, I press duck and then jump. And I get a long jump. And then it's just jump up onto the, uh, the solid tiles that don't flash. Now this set of stairs, I can do this uh, because I'm playing as Peach. And I can wall jump off um, those tiles, land back on them wall jump off the walls and land back on the flashing tiles and you can only really do that as Peach so if you're doing that as a different character I'm not sure how you'd do that now this bit here don't worry about the tiles falling away because they come back and they come back pretty quick um, you just have to avoid those flames I usually d never go for the uh, the magician at the front uh, always run to the side for the first magician that you're going to attack now this bit here you can um, do this without picking up the plant but it's a lot better to pick up the plant because it makes it a little bit easier getting past these um, I'm not even sure what these enemies are called but they look like the little uh, monsters from Spirited Away but if you eat all of these little monsters here you'll get a bunch of coins which is quite helpful Now, I always jump after this trapeze swings close. So it swings close. Got plenty of time, don't have to rush this. Okay, that time I didn't really jump, but you always jump into the center and then you get another jump. That way you can get across. Now, these ants took me ages to figure out what to do. Pretty much what you got to do is you jump and you slide down the wall and when you hit that ant, you got to jump again. So you slide down, hit him, and you jump. And just repeat that process. Looks like I was having a little bit of difficulty just getting to the end here, but I'm going to get there eventually. These plants are a lot easier. You just jump and you hold down the jump button, and it will bounce you up to the next one. So you're just holding down the jump button, that's it. 
And this water bit isn't too hard, but right at the end you got to get into a, a pipe. And I find there's two ways you can do it. You can either hop out of the water and fall into it as the water is moving to the right, or you can uh, be in the water and ground pound down. Um, either way is suitable, I think, in this video I do the second method, but we'll see. Yeah, so I'm ground pounding through the water. It's probably best to just go down a little bit and then ground pound once. A little bit quicker. I just paused here to gather myself because it was doing quite well. Now this bit is quite, quite difficult. It's a matter of jumping those um, rings of fire. And this is all to do with just perfect timing. And if you're Peach, you can, you've got that floating ability which helps out a little bit. Get the third star. And I kind of mucked up here, I went straight. I think the best way to do it is to get the corners first and then get the center one. But I've actually, I've never been able to get past that end bit so far and I've invested about nine hours into this one stage. So if you don't want to take my advice for the uh, the final bit, that's fine. I understand that. But um, yeah, hopefully that's hopefully that's helpful for you if you're trying to get past this level.